Voting in Hong Kong's unofficial referendum wrapped up on Sunday. Organizers are fighting for the right to choose their leader directly, rather than selecting a candidate from a list approved by a committee loyal to Beijing. While the result of the ballot will not be legally binding, many believe the action has symbolic significance. This vote is very meaningful. It's an opportunity for the people of Hong Kong to exercise their civil rights. Chinese state media have rejected the vote as an illegal farce. Under the present system, a committee is responsible for choosing candidates for Hong Kong's top leadership position. Activists say that limits their choice to Beijing-friendly politicians. The former British colony returned to Chinese rule in 1997 under a so-called one country, two systems arrangement. Earlier this month, a policy report said Hong Kong's self-governance was subject to authorization from Beijing. In response, thousands of lawyers took part in a silent protest. Occupy Central, which organized the vote, says it will call massive protests and paralyze the financial district if the government does not agree to reforms.